Hey, welcome back everybody to a wonderful great episode of Travel with Rocky. I'm just about to head out to the back country, not really the back country, and I mix it up just a little bit and I'm going to do a stealth camping episode. And if you don't know what stealth camping is, well just stay tuned and I made a little excerpt to explain exactly what stealth camping is. So until we meet again, woohoo! Stealth camping is the term given to camping at an unestablished wilderness camping site without being noticed. When camping out of sight on land not designated as a campsite, especially on land not used for habitation. Some people do this in urban areas, while some venture into wild locations. Stealth camping requires good campsite selection skills. With stealth camping, you should try to stick to the principles of leave no trace and carry and carry out camping. Obviously, you should pack out all of your garbage. If you are trying to avoid other people, it helps to have a stealthy shelter like a hammock which can be set up over terrain or ground cover that is unsuitable for a tent. Hammocks also have a very low impact on the forest floor. The color of your shelter should blend in well with your surroundings. It's hard to be subtle if your tent is blaze orange or red. For example, if you are sleeping on the ground, you will compress the leaves and undergrowth beneath you in an abnormal manner. Consider fluffing up this area when you break camp. To further prevent detection, don't use unshielded lights. Finally, there is the question of legality. I avoid sites that have no trespassing signs on them or ones that have obviously had recent human activity like tree harvesting. If a private landowner provides access to their land and asks that you not camp or make a fire, it's best to respect their wishes. Otherwise, they can refuse public access and we all lose. So I hope that you will enjoy this stealth camping episode. I will encourage you to tune into this Sunday's stealth camping episode. It will be an epic adventure. Please remember to hit the subscribe, the like button, and also the notification bell. As all three of these actions will help build the growth of channel. Until we meet again, remember to keep on breathing and believing in the great outdoors.